Hey, happy campers. Todd here, Great American RV Superstores. And today we have a setup like you would not believe. We are doing a Super C RV showdown. We have four units. Let's lay out the stats. First up, we have our 2023 Thor Pasadena 38 MX, weighing in at 32,700 pounds with a length of 39 feet, 10 inches, height of 13.3, an interior headroom of 84 inches, 17 foot awning, two slide outs, and sleep six. Next up is our 2022 Tiffin Allegro Bay 38 BB with a gross weight of 33,000 pounds, a length of 39 foot 4 inches, height of 13.2, interior height of 82 and a half inches, 17 foot awning, three slides, and sleeps four. Third is our 2023 Jayco Seneca 37K with a weight of 31,000 pounds, length of 39 foot 4 inches, height of 13.4, interior height of 84 inches, 17 foot awning, two slide outs, and sleeping seven. Lastly, our 2023 Integra Accolade 37K weighing in at 31,000 pounds, a length of 39 foot 4 inches, Height of 13.4, interior headroom of 84 inches, 17 foot awning, two slide outs, and sleeping seven. Let's match them up. So let's start off with some of the characteristics of these units that are alike. They all are on the S2 RV Freightliner chassis. They also all have the Cummins ISB 6.7 engine with 360 horsepower and 800 foot-pounds of torque. All of them are powered by a 50 amp supply or an 8000 Onan generator. The floor plan on all four of our units is pretty similar with the exception of our Tiffin Allegro Bay having a mid entry door and that third slide out giving us a little bit more lounging room. Our Accolade, our Seneca, and our Pasadena all have front entry doors with just two slides. Our warranty on three of our units, our Accolade, our Pasadena, and our Seneca all come in with a two year warranty, 24,000 mile, our Tiffin Allegro Bay comes in at a one-year warranty, 12,000 miles. All of them have a very similar entertainment area under our patio, which they all have that 17-foot awning, all have exterior TVs, and they all have plenty of storage underneath. A nice little touch that Jayco and Integra have done is they have carpeted storage bays in there, giving you a little nicer look, nicer touch. You will notice the awnings on all of our units. Yes, they are 17 foot. Our Jayco has a wall mount awning and the Accolade, the Allegro Bay, and the Pasadena all have roof line awnings, so there's no arms on the side. So a little bit fancier look for the awnings. The water heater on our Pasadena and our Seneca both have Girard on-demand systems. Our Accolade and our Allegro Bay both have the Aquahot system, so there's a huge upgrade for that system on those two units. All four units have dual ACs, a solar package, and plenty of upgradable options on them. So let's go check out the floor plan on the inside and see some of the differences with them. Here we are on the interior of our 2023 Pasadena 38MX. We have a dinette booth that'll slide down and give you the option for sleeping, as well as theater seating right here in front of our nice entertainment center, a nice ambiance, fireplace. We have the option for an induction stovetop or the gas burner, nice undermount sink. Moving into our bedroom area, we have the tilt bed option in there and the rear bath. Bath quarters are kind of tight, but it's a nice rear bath, but we do have the option for our mid bath 
that our guests and stuff can use in there rather than having to walk all the way back to the back. And for more sleeping options, we also have our front bunk with a nice view in the front glass. Here we are on the interior of our 2022 Allegro Bay 38BB. This one once again has that third slide out in the front, giving us a little more room in our living room area with the lounger seating right here. We have a pop-up TV display here with a smaller dinette booth. In our kitchen area, we have a dishwasher as well as an induction stovetop and undermount sink with beautiful fixtures. As well as, once again, our guest mid bath. We have a just solid bed on this one, no tilt to bed option like it is in the other ones. And the rear bath, you talk about spacious and nice. Tiffin really likes to put a little extra into their bathrooms as well as the fit and finish that Tiffin is synonymous for. And don't forget our front bunk area for extra sleeping as well as a small skylight view in the front cap. Here we are in our 2023 Jayco Seneca 37K. This 37K is once again, pretty well the same floor plan. We have our nice kitchen here with an L-shaped counter, a little bit different. Induction cooktop, our undermount sink, our dinette booth that once again slides down into bed for extra sleeping and a sofa in this one, as well as our standard entertainment center, our tilt-to-bed option, and a once again kind of tight bathroom in this one, and we also have our mid-bath for our guests. Don't forget, also we have the bunkhouse up top with that clear view out the front cap window. Here in our 2023 Integra Accolade 37K, very similar floor plan as our Jayco Seneca. Yeah, because they are made by the same company. Jayco and Integra are the same, but Integra gives us this nicer touch. We have a finer finish, a little bit more elegant class to it. But once again, this L-shaped kitchen cabinet with our undermount sink, our induction cooktop, our booth dinette that can fold down into a bed, our three-person couch, our standard entertainment center. Once again, a tight bathroom, a little bit nicer, our tilt-to-bed option, as well as the guest bathroom there in the mid, and more sleeping quarters in the front overhead bunkhouse with that beautiful skylight view. Also on our Accolade, they stepped it up and gave us real tile flooring. That's definitely a step up from our other three competitors there that have our vinyl tile. All right, so we're taking a ride right now in our 2022 Tiffin Allegro Bay. Once again, Freightliner chassis, that's that SR2 with the Cummins engine. All four of them ride the same. They have a rear airbag suspension as well as a spring front suspension. So that makes for a little rougher ride on the front end. As far as the engine goes, all of them have a loud fan, cooling fan for the radiator. So you're gonna get some fan noise in there in the beginning. Once you get up to speed, it kind of calms down. All in all, nice ride. Anybody that you know is a trucker or anything like that, they generally like these Freightliner chassis. They're very easy to drive. Uh, you do have air brakes on them, so stopping and going is no problem. One thing I will say about the Allegro Bay and the Pasadena, they both come with a nice air ride feature on the seats. So your adjustment up and down is with the air ride. Your Accolade and your Seneca both just have your standard seating. So it's a nice upgrade that the Pasadena and Allegro Bay has thrown into those systems. All four units come with the camera system. You have your rear backup camera as well as your turn signals left and right. That camera will pop up and give you an eye view of what's in that lane next to you to cover those blind spots. So it is a big unit, but it gives you plenty of features to throw in there to help you feel safe when driving. Our dash cluster is pretty well the same on all four of them as well. They give you plenty of options from your power windows to being able to start your generator and auxiliary starts on each one of them as well. 
All four units do come with our automatic Allison transmission. You just hit your brake, shift into reverse or drive. You do have the option to go into manual mode if you wish. Nice smooth transition when shifting gears. Rocking and rolling. All four of these units also sit on 22 and a half inch aluminum rims, as well as either Michelin or Bridgestone tires. So while we're driving, we might as well talk about our walking space on the unit. That walking space is nice wide open on our Pasadena, our Accolade, and our Seneca, but on our Allegro Bay, kind of tight guys. That extra slide out with the theater seating right there takes away from some of our room when trying to get to the bathroom while traveling. So that is a kind of a thumbs down for that feature. So we've taken a look at our Pasadena, our Allegro Bay, our Seneca, and our Accolade. All of them very similar. Small details make the difference on these. They still all have hydraulic leveling, your touch pad system that controls everything. They all have these great options, so it makes it that much tougher. So don't miss your chance to come see them in person to find out which one fits you the best. Don't miss your option to get a Super C deal today at Great American RV Superstores. There's plenty more options to name that we couldn't fit in the video. Check it out at GreatAmericanRV.com or come see us in person at any one of our 11 locations here at Great American RV Superstores where we're making memories one weekend at a time. Making memories one weekend at a time.